There was a, that's actually kind of what I always thought it would sort of be like. Do you remember that? There was a movie called What Dreams May Come. You may yeah. never have oh, seen I it. Just, to me, I really always thought that that was what heaven was going to be. Yeah. That house that person built was his wife's painting. Yeah. It was their dream retirement. You had to see the movie, but it was the most awesome movie. Yeah, yes, it was. I have like three copies of that movie. <laughs> but and when my ex-husband got cancer, he couldn't watch it. He was afraid. Anyways, I don't. I never believed in the double part of it personally. Just didn't choose that. But the but the part that they were connected as souls. You know what I mean? Him and his wife, and it made her cry when he came near her, she could feel him. Is that kind of what you were describing? Because to me, when you did that, that was the picture that came to my mind, was that kind of movie, that kind of path. It was a connection, it was a space, and, and it was all created. And like the reason his kids couldn't be themselves was because they didn't think that he respected them enough to listen to them. You know what I mean? Till he got like further developed, mm -hmm. and then he could, they could admit that they were his children. You know what I'm? Yeah, trying, yeah, it was yeah. that to me that was the most awesome movie of what God. It didn't even show God of what heaven and what you would create when you die was like. Is it? Is it similar to that? And there are a lot of truths in that movie. Um, even the even the depictions of what they called the hells were actually quite true. There are actually places that look very, very similar to that in the spirit world. So it has a lot of truth. There are, there were also though uh, quite a number of errors in the movie. Well, I mean, it was a movie. Yeah. Robin Williams made a movie, so I mean, you know. But I, but I'm just saying, to me, for some reason, that struck a chord that that was real. I mean, that there was something really honest about it, the yeah. way that that really was. Yeah. And somebody said, "Well, that isn't what it." I said, "I don't know. I kind of think." That, that would be what it would be like then. Yeah. You no, it pick your own. Yeah. It is very similar that whatever you desire is what you create. But it has to be a pure desire and it has to be a right. desire not, not uh, tainted by emotions. Because it's, it's like <coughs> your desires right now are a mixture of emotions that are disharmonious with love and emotions that are harmonious with love. Right. You can't manufacture out, out of yourself the ones disharmonious with love. Okay. The only way to get them out of yourself is to experience them and release them. So, uh, see, a lot of people believe from watching movies like that that they can actually use their desire to create what their best picture is of what they want. And that's what they will arrive into in the spirit world. But that's actually not the case. What the truth is, is that your soul condition at this moment determines where you will arrive at the spirit world. What and, you believe, right? And it's not just what you believe, no. It's actually what you emotionally feel within you as well. Well, that's what I mean, that it, what's, it, what's, what's inside you at this space. Yeah, but don't, don't confuse beliefs with emotions. They are both, uh, uh, beliefs are certainly emotions, but emotions aren't necessarily beliefs. Uh, to give you, to give you an, I, uh, an idea of what I mean by that, um, let's say I might have a belief, I might be a Christian, Right? And I have a belief that when I die, I'll be with Jesus in heaven. That's my belief. Right? When I pass, that belief will not be realized. And I can guarantee you, you will not be realized. <laughs> yeah. right? because you, just because you believe it, it doesn't mean it's, it's true. And also, let's say, as a Christian, I'm also having a feeling inside of myself that every person who's not of my faith is condemned to hell by God. Let's say that's a belief I also have. Right? When I pass, I will actually find that my belief has actually created a hell for me. I can believe that. Right? Now, now, I might intellectually think all I like that I'm going to pass into heaven and be in this nice, pretty place. And I might believe that, think, think I believe that with all my heart at this moment. But it's not just my beliefs that create the location that I'm passing into. It's also my emotions. And if my emotions are ones of anger and resentment towards other people who are not of the same faith as me, then I have learned very little about love. Thank you. And therefore, I am only going to be in a position where that amount of love exists. <laughs>